or building a golf simulator. Let's get into it. This clip right here is the first time I pressed record, first time talking to a camera, so a bit nervous there. I'm excited to bring you guys along for whatever that journey may take us. I got a lot of plans. It all starts right here. So we're down here in the garage and this is where we're gonna be putting the sim right here behind me. I've done a lot of measuring already. I've done some swing testing, so I'm pretty confident it's all gonna work out. I got all my kit and gear set up, ready to be unboxed over here. So I'm gonna run you through that stuff and kind of give you my overall plan. And then we're just gonna start building it out. So let's do it. So we got everything unboxed, kind of ready to go. Let me run through with what we're gonna be putting up in the sim. Start with my large amount of turf right here. That's gonna be for my landing area and around the hitting mat to include my floor panels over here, which I needed to bring up the thickness of the turf because my hitting mat is technically a bit thicker and I wanted the area to be nice and flush and look real clean. So we'll see how that goes once I start putting the flooring down. The hitting mat is a five by eight country club elite hitting mat. It accepts a tee, all that good stuff. And it should be plenty big enough for both left and right-handed golf which is why I also went with the Mevo Plus. Uh, one, because I had the space to do it. And then also I wanted someone just to be able to come up, hit the ball and not have to worry about moving the monitor itself around to accommodate that. So see how that goes, should work pretty nice. The enclosure is a stealth retractable system from Sports Screen. It has two five foot panels for the side protection and then a 10 foot area, which is gonna be the SQ impact screen. It's supposed to be a nice quiet screen. Sound is a bit of concern. Uh, because we are below some of the bedrooms. I'm kind of a night owl and I want to be able to hit golf balls late at night and not disturb the better half. Uh, all that's going to be running through a BenQ short throw projector, which I'm going to mount to the ceiling and then run HDMI to my laptop, which is going to be running the sim for that too. So we're about to start kicking this off now with the enclosure and building the frame on the ceiling to get the screens up. And that's going to start with my first trip to Lowe's. So we'll see how many Lowe's trips this takes to get this all done. And then once it's all installed, sim put in I hit my first ball I'll do a full breakdown of all the equipment costs and let you know what it take to, took to make this happen so we're gonna be working on the enclosure in this video I'm gonna build a frame on the ceiling to hold the screens up soundproof that all that good stuff so we got to run to Lowe's get some wood get some materials to make that happen and I've already run into my first issue of the build which is the better half is out of town for a little while visiting some family and she took the SUV and uh, neither one of these are gonna fit my boards. So we'll see how we're gonna solve that when we get there. I think Lowe's does the truck rentals. I might have to do a truck rental for an hour or so to get the wood back here. We'll see how that goes. All right, let's do it. We made it to Lowe's. I'm not seeing one of their trucks though. I'm a bit concerned for that. Let's see what they got. So Lowe's didn't have a truck. I'm gonna pull a sneaky one over at Home Depot. I have a gift card for Lowe's. So we're gonna try to get one of these guys right over there. Head back, pull that into the Lowe's parking lot. Load up, let's go. We ended up getting the truck from Home Depot. Just as I was getting the keys, the guy asked, so you're getting the wood here, right? And I couldn't lie to him. So we went ahead and got the wood I need. We're gonna start getting this enclosure going. So let's go. Back from the store, got the wood, got the stuff we need, and we're about to put the first screws up in the ceiling. I measured out my studs on my board down here. I'm by myself on this one, so this part might be a bit tricky on my own, but I think I'll figure it out. So we're about to lift this thing up, uh, put it in the ceiling, and then we're off to the races. Let's go. Quit saying let's go. I don't know why you keep saying that. Hit another speed bump for the project here in the ceiling. I didn't account for the width of my main cross members. I only have about three and a half inch screws at the moment and I need five inch screws for my cross members to hold the panels up. Another quick trip to Lowe's, get the right screws so we can keep pushing.
we're ready to start on the retractable screens. I really hope these brackets line up uh, that I can just pop these things in, pop the screens up there. This is it, nerve wracking part for me. I hope my measurements are right. I hope everything goes up there smooth. Let's see how it goes. We have one up right now. We're working on the other two. And just with the press of a button, we go boom. Golf simulator and work. All right, so day one in the books on the sim build. Uh, we got a lot done today. We got the ceiling frame put up. Uh, we got all three retractable motors and mounts put up, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, I like how it's turning out so far. We got the impact screen with the two side panels in there. I went ahead and put the corner pieces in there too, just to see how they look. Uh, I threw some balls at the screen to kind of see how it sounded, and it's pretty quiet. Uh, obviously not quite the same as a golf club hitting the screen, golf ball. Uh, from a golf club hitting the screen, but I'll put in some footage of me throwing at the impact screen I think it's going to turn out pretty good, but otherwise we're back at it tomorrow All right, so we've made a lot of progress so far this morning. We got the enclosure pretty much all sealed up, ready to go. Uh, getting those panels up there was a little trickier than I thought it was gonna be. I actually had to cut them in half so I can actually hold it and get a couple screws in there. I'm not sure how good the time lapse will show it, but there's probably a good laugh in there or two when I was trying to put the bigger panel up by myself. But we got them up there and I went ahead and kind of spray painted my grid out for my soundproofing panels, just in case I didn't want any of the tan paneling to peek through. Uh, once I start putting these up, I'm just going to use some spray adhesive on the back of these, start gritting them out, putting at the top. We're almost done with the enclosure up top, so let's keep it going. Let's finish this up. All right, well, we got the enclosure up and for all intents and purposes, I'm confident in saying it's done. It's working well, screen's coming up and down just fine. I miscalculated on my soundproofing a little bit over here, so I got that on order. I need 12 more panels to finish it off. So that'll be in later this week. I'll put those up, but that's easy. And then also I'll go ahead and get some paint up here and get these guys up in the top painted so that looks a little bit cleaner up there. The enclosure's done. It took a lot more work than I thought it was going to. And again, trying to film it too. This is some of the first times I'm actually trying to film myself. So it took a little bit longer to set all that stuff up too and get it going. So again, I, I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being once it ends up being posted. But if you clicked on it, if you watched it all the way to the end here, thank you so much. This is a new adventure for me and wherever it goes from here. Enclosure's done, flooring's coming up next. Click on the next video. I look forward to going through that process and having you along with me too. Thank you.